Hey, what's up, what's up, everybody? Well, this is your host with the most key G in the house, and this is going to be a blessings, blessings to all. Um, I want to tell you something about what a church is all about. Okay, um, I've been, I've been, I've been contemplating, contemplating a lot on, on, on church, and I've been contemplating a lot about religion. For those who know me, I know know that I don't believe in religion, but I do believe in churches. I do believe in churches for a simple reason, is that that's a good place to go. To learn, it's a good place to 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 to, he, to listen to other people, to get to know more about God, because at the end of the day, church is not going to save you. What's going to save you is the love, and that closeness, and that intimate relationship that you have with God. That's what's going to to save you. Your faith in God, your your born again Christian, and you become a new child of God. That's what's going to save you. The faith that you do, and the works that you do. As a Christian, and I'm gonna take this moment out because I, something, something, something astonished me today. Um, the church that I go to, today's offering was given to us because of what happened with with the accident that we had, the accident that we had. And I want to say this because I want to commend all those churches to do the same thing, who give out to their to their flocks, to to give out to the members of the of, uh, of the church, to give out to others, to give out and and give to other people and make dreams come true in other people's homes. Uh, make, uh, my, brother's, my brother's church went last year to Mexico and they made a house. Um, every church does something good, a good church. And I want to say this because, and, and I want to say this because there are churches out there, there are religious people. Don't they? I, mean, I want to put church in general. There are churches out there, there are pastors out there. That's why it says, be worth of wolves comes in, sheep, in sheep's clothing. You got. CF CF Dollar, Pastor Dollar, you got TV Jakes, you got um, Pastor Mayor, you have you have all these big pastors that you see on TV who are making millions and millions of dollars. And if you were to if you were being an accident, they wouldn't help you. Call them, they won't help you. But a, so a small church like mine, a small church like my brother's, a small church like my, my sister's, a small so a small church like yours, go go uh, go beyond their means to make sure that their fellow church members are okay. I got a call today where my brother in church said, are you guys doing okay? Because they knew we were on access, so they thought, are oh, you guys got food because they own a store. I didn't know they own a store. I said, no, we got food. If you know anything, then, you know, you need anything, let us know. Um, a month and a half ago, the pastor called and said, "We got I got some vouchers that I can give to people who who need food. You guys need food. I give you a voucher. You go to get it at the supermarket." And I said, "No, we we were okay with food. Um, give it to someone that needs it. You know, I wasn't going to take advantage of something when I already know that I have." So I just, he said, "If you know anyone that, that that needs, let us know." I said, "I will." But I just moved here. I don't know too many people. I don't even know anybody. Just my neighbors. I and mean, we don't we don't talk a lot. They have their own lives and I have mine. And it just touches me because you know, I always say, you know, why do we give ten percent of, uh, of 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 our earnings or what why do we have to give this to God if it all belongs to God, right? In a situation like this, or in any situation, now I know why. Not because it belongs to God, because it helps others. And with this, with this work of charity, I will pass on. When I get there, we'll have. Because these are the things that made me believe more and more in God. I believe in God regardless of the money. But the faith in humanity, that's what I meant to say. The faith in humanity still lingers, and that's good. And I'm, I'm appreciative for that. And I just want you to know, people... Be wary of those pastors that come in sheep clothing. Remember, be wary of those pastors that say one thing and do another. I just wanted, I wanted to do this video so you could know that God is good. That all churches are not the same. Amen. God bless, guys.